Nurses are no longer manning the picket line, but they are still not at their patient's bedside. Good evening, I'm Ann Allred. And I'm Mike Bush. Their biggest demands, better pay, safer working conditions, and improved staff retention. Five on your side's Diamond Palmer is live outside the hospital in Midtown, where a 24-hour walkout continues. Diamond. Well, good evening, Mike and Anne. as you can see behind me, things are very quiet this evening compared to what we were seeing earlier when cars were honking nonstop and people were shouting in support of these nurses. They actually wrapped up things on the picket line this evening at 7 p.m. with many of them right now sleeping, preparing to head back to work tomorrow as normal. But this strike will last until 6:59 a.m. Nurses at their breaking point demanding safer working conditions, better retention and a fair contract. Apparently it's not fair because they're out here. Mavis Thompson, the city's licensed collector, one of many showing support Monday. How's everybody doing? St. Louis Board of Aldermen President Megan Green also showing her support. The National Nurses Organizing Committee and National Nurses United are the ones representing these nurses on the picket lines and conducting this strike. They say they notified the hospital 10 days before the strike and had a 94% yes vote on striking. I recognize their, the need to render patient care to actually be a bedside nurse. Kim Bacon says she returned to the workforce because of the pandemic. I want to be part of the solution, not part of the problem. Sarah D. Wildy, a nurse of 10 years, is on the negotiating board. She says the problem goes back beyond this year's failed contract negotiations. Nurses have been without a raise since 2022. The union and SSM Health have been in negotiations since May and nurses without a contract for almost just as long. And so now three months later without a contract, an expired contract, we're here. SSM Health released a statement in part saying since August 29th, the National Nurses Organizing Committee has declined to respond or counter our proposals on key wage issues. Negotiations can only make progress when both sides are motivated and engaged. City leaders like Thompson say the demands nurses want are simple. Shorter hours, more people to take care of the sick patients that are here in the hospital. Now, the union that represents these nurses and SSM Health will prepare to go back to the bargaining table on October 17th. And the nurses tell me if their demands are not met, that's when they will plan for another 24 hours of action. Reporting live here in Midtown, Diamond Palmer, 5 on your side.